Driven to distraction or inspired by collaboration, we look at the love affair with the Open Concept Office. Also, top tips on how to keep you focused and distraction-free if you're in a noisy Open Concept Office. I'm Afan Chaudhary. Welcome to Globe Now. If you're working in an office setting, it may very well be an open concept office. And with that comes all kinds of challenges. You often have little control over the noise level, and that can have an impact on your concentration. And at some point, you have to wonder, are open concept offices really more productive? Well, let's explore the issue with someone who has studied the open concept office and how teams work together. Teresa Klein is a professor emeritus at the Department of Psychology at the University of Calgary. Hi there. Hello. What does the research say about interruptions and distractions and their impact on productivity? Well, not surprisingly, um, for most of us, when we're distracted from our work, we uh, are less productive. And that's what the research says. Um, distraction and noise and cognitive disturbances make us less capable and, and less focused on our task. Now, I mean, one of the things that I often hear is that the open concept offices lead to a sense of team and purpose, collaboration and innovation. What does the research say? It doesn't support that. There are some aspects of working in teams in an open office concept uh, where you would bump into each other uh, and have those um, kind of conversations that are one off. The distraction issue clearly outweighs the uh, uh, perceived or expected benefit from uh, expected from collaborative work. And are workers in the open concept office less stressed, perhaps happier, and maybe even more satisfied? Uh, none of those things, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're less satisfied. Uh, they're more stressed. They don't enjoy their work nearly as much as, as those that are in private offices or even semi-private offices. In addition, this phenomenon is more uh, pronounced as one climbs up the corporate ladder. Interesting. So how much of a rethinking is there going on when it comes to the open concept office? And are employers and designers doing things differently? Well, I think there's some at least rethinking. Um, I don't think that they're going to give it up. The uh, expected cost benefits uh, of somewhere around 20% improvement for an open office space versus uh, single office spaces is, is too much for corporations to say, you know, we're going to go back to uh, traditional offices, single office spaces. Uh, but there are things that you can do to redesign them to make sure that uh, employees are as comfortable as possible, such as having a small breakout rooms uh, or private rooms where one can go and uh, have a small conversation or even make a private phone call, uh, having uh, high enough partitions where uh, some of the noise and distraction is cut down so that you're not, you know, can, can kind of just poke your head over the top of your cubicle and see the guy next to you. I wonder whether workers are getting better at coping with the open concept office. So, for example, younger workers may not find it so hard. Oh, well, there's uh, some uh, new research that suggests that millennials um, are more tolerant of the distraction. I think primarily because they're so used to it, um, although that's a speculation on my part. They grew up with iPods and you know earbuds and uh, text messages pinging them all the time. So I think they're kind of used to having uh, to shift their attention very rapidly from from one thing to another. And that's one of the issues around distraction is that once you're distracted, trying to refocus your attention back on your task at hand is is a, is a lag. There's a time lag there. Okay, Professor Klein, thank you so much. You're most welcome. Well, we want to hear from you. What impact does the Open Concept Office have on your work and productivity? Tweet us at Globe Now. Now, before you get interrupted by someone at work, there is hope. Here are some ways that you can get work done in a noisy setting by someone who themselves made the shift from private office to open concept. Leanne Davey is vice president of Knightsbridge Leadership Solutions and author of You First. Inspire your team to grow up, get along, and get stuff done. One of the big issues we see all the time is productivity in our modern offices. So we've got more stress than ever, more to accomplish, but increasingly we're using open office spaces to create collaboration. The problem is, as soon as you try and get work done in an open space like that, distractions are everywhere. 
So one of the things that I really recommend to people is that you create an imaginary office even when there's no door to actually close. There are several ways you can do that. In our office, we've done that with those great noise canceling headphones. It's a really clear indication to people that I'm in my head, I'm working, and this is the do not disturb sign. Technology is a really interesting part of the equation. We blame technology for all of the problems it's created and we forget to use the fa fabulous things that technology has to offer. On your telephone, if you can create your own ringtone in your open office, it's wonderful because if everyone has the same ringtone, the minute anyone's phone rings, everybody does one of those and it's that moment's distraction. Try not to have a lot of conversations right in the main area of the open space. Just say to the person you're talking to, let's actually go over here so we don't disturb people. In our office, we've developed some hand signals. It's hard to say to someone, you know, be quiet. So just catching their eyes and, and giving them one of these, like turn it down, is a lot nicer than shh, where you're reminded of the librarian in public school. This is one of the tools we use in our office. This is the daily mood flip chart. So it, it's a great way with some fun, with a laugh to say to people that, you know, consider where I'm at and please be respectful of the space. There are so many things that make an open office plan a little bit more challenging. That said, I would never go back. If you just wanna have a better um, connection among the people on your team, an open office space is a, is a fabulous way to achieve that. That's all for today's show. Share your top tips on how to stay productive in a noisy office environment. Tweet us at Globe Now. I'm Afan Chaudhary. Thanks for watching.